Greetings all you maniacs from Minecraft Crimes, and today I'm going to be reviewing Remnant from the Ashes. Now, before I start, what happened to the series that I had planned? Well, in a nutshell, I was way too freaking excited to keep playing the game, and I wasn't about to record an hour every time, because that was really draining on me, and it was annoying to do. And I didn't get a lot of progress in that time. Also, my game fucked me. My very first playthrough, it did not spawn an area or a door that I needed to go to defeat to, to defeat an a an, uh, required boss. So I had to restart. <laughs> Wonderful. But that being said. This game is awesome, and I'm so glad that it was free. So, what are my thoughts on the game? Remnant is absolutely fantastic. I would highly recommend to anyone that likes third-person shooters with a bit of difficulty, that likes um, looter shooters, that likes Dark Souls but uh, or Bloodborne or any of those kind of games. The game overall is just absolutely fantastic. Now, it has some bullshit. Um, namely minion spam with some of the bosses. I don't know why. Well, I kind of have a theory. Is because the game, I guess, is sort of designed for you to be in a squad of two other people or one other person to help with the load. The game shouldn't just throw minions at you. Anyway, I think the level design of the game is very cool and pretty interesting. So, Pretty much, the levels are sort of random. What is really randomized is the loot drops, especially rings and amulets. But the layout of the areas can be pretty random. Same thing with the dungeons can also be pretty random. Some of them are very samey, but for the most part, I have not seen the same kind of area twice, other than on Earth and some other places. And you do go to Alien Worlds, which I think is pretty damn interesting and cool. The grander story of the game, I don't really know because I haven't watched any lore videos on it. But the gist is, this thing called The Root is fucking Earth to hell, and pretty much there's only a few remnants left of humanity. Um... Anyway, it's a really, really interesting game world. I love the designs of the enemies. They all look really weird, a little freaky, very plant-like. Well, of course, they're plants. You're, you're basically killing trees all the time, most of the time anyway. On Alien Worlds, you're, you're fighting aliens. But it is still extremely cool, and there are... So many weapons in this game. I have not gotten them all. Not even close. And I've re-rolled my campaign into New Game Plus. And my character, I, I'm the hunter. I'm all about crits and weak point damage. I do lots of damage. I am super fucking powerful. But my older brother, he has... um, Because he's playing this game as well. Because it was free. And he was interested in it. He's more of a tank healer. So there's a lot of different variety of the game of the gameplay styles. I prefer to stay at a bit of a distance and just keep hitting weak points and lots of damage and all of that. I'm also I'm fairly tough. I can take a hit or two. But, you know, it, it, there's a lot of variety when it comes to the traits in the game. Same thing with the weapon mods. There are a lot of different weapon mods you can get. I don't even have the DLCs. There's two DLCs to this game. I don't have them yet. Eventually, eventually, I will. But, that being said, it took me about... I want to say about 8-9 hours to beat the game. But, I was exploring everywhere. And, if you're new to this game, do that. Explore everywhere. Whatever rings you find, whatever amulets you find, you're bound to find a few of them that fits your playstyle. 
Uh, but one, I could, two I can definitely recommend is the Stockpile Circlet and the Health Regenerating, which I forget the name of. But I'm pretty sure it pops up in the gameplay if I selected the right clip, like a smart, which I'm probably not going to. But um, yeah, Health Regen is definitely very nice, and having more ammo is having more ammo. You don't run out of ammo in this game. It, even Especially if you have ammo boxes, just buy as many of them as you can with the amount of scrap you have, which is the currency. And the dungeons are definitely worth doing because not only do you get a lot of scrap and materials to upgrade your weapons, but you also get a lot of experience. And on ROM, you can get the beam rifle. This weapon is beast. It's fantastic. It hits really hard. Um, its clip at lasts forever, and it's perfectly accurate. What more could a hunter want? Because I can just keep hitting weak points and big damage, add fire damage to that, or whatever mod you want to that, and it's fantastic. Boss weapons are also really good, but they have their own mods that you can't change. Which I'm fine with, because some of the boss weapons are pretty damn powerful. The particle accelerator is ridiculous. It's, it's mod is ridiculous. Anyway, this game is absolutely fucking fantastic. I do have some gripes. First things first. The minion spam. I have to talk about that again. That's not how you design hard bosses. You design hard bosses by giving them gimmicks, by giving them different abilities. But whatever. This game is meant to be played in co-op, but I solo it. Um, I mean, not, not saying you can't solo it, but it is definitely a lot easier and faster with multiple people. Secondly, I wish getting some weapons were guaranteed because the big replay value of this game is the whole RNG thing because someone can go through the same dungeon. Like, I went through a dungeon with a, a uh, like, defense stop point and I defended the, the place for, like, a minute and a half and I got the beam rifle. But someone else might get armor out of it, might get, I don't know, a ring or an amulet or something else but I got a weapon you might not get the same weapon that's fine and as replay value but it would be nice to say oh you go to this location and you get this weapon there is one weapon I would definitely recommend getting is the SMG and you get it as soon as you get the Ward 13 um, key card so Definitely look up how to get that. The SMG is a fantastic secondary weapon. Um, it's it's very good, but I don't use it very much unless there are a lot of little enemies near me. And I also just have the healing mod on it, or I'll swap out some other mod that's good for a certain boss. So, run it from the ashes really is Dark Souls with guns. But I guess that title isn't 100% true because it is much easier than Dark Souls. Sure, it can be rather challenging, it can be rather difficult, but the difficulty doesn't feel just. So when you play a Dark Souls game, the difficulty comes with what the mechanics are like, what the enemies are like, what the bosses are like, their resistances, their gimmicks, um, what type of boss it is, all of that. In Remnant, there's that, but also Minion Spam. It kind of reminds me of Dark Souls 2, um, especially a boss like the Skeleton Lords in Dark Souls 2. It's just Minion Spam for no reason. I don't get why some Souls-like games do that. And some other bosses that are just... They have ludicrous amounts of health or armor, or both, and, you know, are just not fun to fight against because they do so much freaking damage. Remnant really needs to work on what, what kind of balance that the bosses should have. My suggestion is 
reduce the amount of minions some of these bosses have because the boss won't usually kill me it's the freaking minions because my build is meant to stay away from a lot of damage I can take a hit but I can't take hits forever I'm not a tank I'm a DPS so if I'm with a squad sure I'm going to be doing the majority of the damage but I need to be covered so that's just how Remnant works. But everyone's playthrough is going to be different. You're going to fight different bosses than I do, unless they're mandatory bosses. There's only a select few of mandatory bosses. Um, You know, other than some of its bullshit, Remnant from the Ashes is quickly becoming one of my favorite games. I'm, I'm enjoying the fuck out of the game. I don't even have the DLCs yet. It's just so goddamn fun. It is legitimately just such a fun game. And I cannot believe it took me this freaking long to get it. I've seen gameplay of it all the way back when it was just... When it was first released. I've, you know, heard people say this game is absolutely fantastic. But I was never able to get it. And now thanks to the Epic Game Store, now that it was free, I have it. But I don't have the DLCs yet. I kind of wish it came with the DLCs. But, you know, it's such an awesome game. I would highly, highly recommend this game. It's fun, it's pretty challenging, and I assume it's hell of a lot of fun with a partner that is in with, like, a Discord call. I can't do that because none of the people I know on Discord will actually play, with the, play this game with me because none of them have it, or they'll never play a Souls-like I don't know why, but it's really, really cool. It's pretty in a lot of areas. A lot of areas are absolutely gorgeous. A lot of the planets are just super freaking stunning. The music is okay. Uh, there's not a whole lot of music. It's mostly just ambience um, and all of that nonsense. The, the boss music, nothing stood out to me. The final boss, Nightmare, was a very interesting boss, but a very easy boss at the same time, but also pretty difficult because this dude had millions of HP for some reason. Um, until you staggered him, then he was taking like 50, 70k damage per shot with me because of my weak point damage. Anyway, that's Remnant from the Ashes. Dark Souls with guns is not exactly accurate. I would say it's more like a shooter RPG with slight horror elements and action adventure thing. I don't want to say Lovecraftian because some of the bosses, some of the enemies, they look a little Lovecraftian, but not Really, of course, I've not experienced the DLC, so I don't know what kind of crazy shits in the DLCs. But I would highly recommend getting this game. It's fantastic. If I were to give it a score, nine out of ten. It's freaking great, but there are still some pretty big issues with it, namely some of the bosses' minion spams and their one-shot moves are not cool. I know. It's supposed to be played with a partner or two partners and not really supposed to be soloed. But hey, people solo it all the time. And I got through the journey solo most of the time just fine. And also the Hunter's default mod, the Hunter's Mark, gives you red eye glow. Best game. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of Remnant from the Ashes. I'm sorry I didn't, I didn't do a series on it like I wanted to, but hey, sometimes I just got to play games that don't go up on YouTube. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, in Trilby, we trust.